Right, hello everybody. It's um, junk in the trunk. I actually can't remember what number it is. 22, 23? I'm really bad. I can't remember. Um, right, what I'm going to do this time is... Um, let me think. Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, so what I'm going to do this time is use up some of these... All right, scrap card that's from the back of scrapbooking papers and things because as you know i've cut up a load of scrapbooking papers and i'm left with these so again nice it's not too thick but it's good enough for these um i'm basing the size on the last tags i've done you know oh, i've got one here somewhere the one of the tim holtz ones okay there's not gonna be anything like that <laughs> but i'm just basing the size all right, so the large one was three and three quarters by six and a half inches. And the small one was three and five and a half inches. Now, I'm not even saying I'm putting that on top of that. I really don't know until I've done it. So I might have, you might see some pictures before the intro of this. Um, if so, you'll know what I've done. <laughs> I just thought I'd do a load up. Okay, I've cut, I've cut loads up. I've also pre-gessoed some so they're dry. All right, so all you've got to do, I mean, that's all the other bits. These can come in handy for something else, all right, these end bits, because they're double thickness. I don't particularly want double thickness at the moment. So this will go back in my trunk for something else. Let's put that out of the way a minute. Okay, and that one. Uh, but again, it can be any card that you've got, you know, it's about one mil thick. So anything that you've got really that you want to, that's in the rubbish. All right. So I just, just so front and back. Okay. I'll just do one for you. I'll just do this little one. Not, not, not really, Um, you know, that's just gessoing. So let's dry my brush a minute. It doesn't matter how it goes on. There's no technique to this bit. Oh, just put that in. I'll just use a bit. I just do front and back. I used to do a load of all the fronts, and then by the time I get to, to the end of them, I can then turn over and do the backs. Okay, you can. This is slightly shiny. You can sand down a bit if you if it's too shiny this one's not too bad so i'm gonna leave it as is all right that's all i do and do load up and then put them to dry okay so i've got loads drying so we can move straight on to the actually they can carry on drying because we can do the next bit now and there'll be a i'm gonna use a couple of techniques a couple of um crackle mediums later on okay one is golden this apparently is supposed to leave three or four days all right the tim holtz one works like really quickly but it's transparent so you can see your underneath layer so um, yeah we can work we'll work with that i think i think i'll give that a go as well okay but the main thing of this is your tissue paper or not tissue paper you know your napkins um the waste of that that's what we're using so a minute you need a couple of plastic things like this for the napkin to dry on um i'll tell you what's good is the food cutting mats you can get them quite cheap all right and then it's your single layer of your napkins okay and what we're doing you can do it with anything that's water soluble that will run into water okay because that's where the fun happens um what am i using today i'm going to use um paint palette okay i'm going to use this one because i'm staying with the vintage tones i think for that but you can use what you want i've done a few i mean some of these are a bit bright okay but this is just the first layer i love this that one was brushios okay where you wet it down and then put the brushes in and then spritz again and you know it was it's quite intense really that was just watercolors that one was stuck to another one <laughs> but i still like that so i don't mind that at all 
Yeah, so these are more pastel. And you can see that there's a tiny bit of design left over in the napkin there, which is quite interesting. Yeah, like I say, these ones were quite bright there. That's brushios, that's just watercolours. Which, to be honest, I preferred the watercolour ones, the more pastel colours. But I can still work with that because I can put gesso over it. Now, I won't be doing all these. I'll just, this is just, you know, backgrounds and we work on them as we go. Some might be used, some might not. Right, paint palette. And it needs to be quite watered down, really. But these aren't too bad, so I'm just going to get that out. Um, I, this is from Etsy. Um, you don't need this sort of palette, okay? This was one of those sort of buys that I'd done. Apps, uh, beautiful, by the way, and lovely. And can, they're all, all handmade, absolutely beautiful. But it's one of those things that, unless you're into watercolour in, just use anything and you can actually use water soluble spritzes but long as you sort of well you'll see i don't you don't want the whole thing if anything there's too much on these i will i want a bit more white space or negative space i say there's no negative space on these that's what i want to try and create because i tend to just sort of put everything on and then i've got no space so i'm gonna try okay first thing you do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna just wet my palette down a bit while that's doing is wet the napkin down that's why you need the plastic because you leave it on here until it's dry yeah leave it all crunchy like that that's good that's right and then you have to mix up some paint Um, so keep it on with these, I think. And, you know, you know, this is not, these are not going to be very vibrant. Okay. I'm just going to sort of just dot it around. You have to be careful, mind. All right. Preferably, actually, I'll get a softer brush. That one's quite hard. That's... Just sort of dot around but again you must be careful yeah See what I'm doing there? I'm splashing it. Honestly, just have yourself a bit of fun. I need some down here, don't we? Oops, that one. Oh, it must be like a, um, like a whitey colour. That's quite nice. You just need paints with quite a bit of pigment in, yeah? So you know when it dries, it's going to be okay. This is just going to do a bit of splashing. I struggle. I want to fill in everywhere. Do you know what I mean? So this is quite a good sort of practice for me not to. Yeah, just put some down there. 
Okay, well, I'm going to leave that. Okay. <laughs> but you think, what is she doing? <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. And then leave, you just, you must not touch it. It's got to dry on these. These go on my little heater because I've got one of those safety heaters that I can put anything on. I mean, you can blow, blow, blow torch it, you know, heat, um, heat, heat, do it with a heat gun rather. But no, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to be brave because I really want to put more here. But I'm not going to. Okay, I'm just going to leave that now. All right, and we'll do another one. Okay, let's give that a bit of a spritz. This has got a bit of colour underneath already, but that's fine. I like it. And that'll come through onto that napkin. This one, I'm going to use a little bit of Magicals with that. And maybe some of the spritz that I've got. And we'll see how that works. Yeah, so I'm just going to, of course, put some more of that one. Um, you could do it with mop-up mop cloths as well. It would be a bit thicker. You won't see your underneath because you know what tissue paper's like. It sort of disappears, doesn't it? But I'm sure you could do it with mop-up cloths too. I used to do things like this with my mop-up cloths. I haven't done it for a while. Okay. All right. Uh, what spritz have I got? I actually have. I haven't got that many out, but I've got many there really. But it's right. The spritz isn't working now, but I'm going to put some of that in. I think <laughs> just like that. <laughs> and then this is magical. It's supposed to be green, but it looks yellow. But it is green. Right, and wherever you put them, you need to spritz a little bit of water on that. So it's, that's a little bit dry. Okay. So I get the fine mister for this. But these react a bit like brushios, actually. Yeah, they do. I suppose they are them. But the mica in them. <laughs> Okay, I'm leaving that. Okay, and that one's a little bit brighter. Look at that mica in that. <laughs> Okay, I've got one dry and I've definitely got some negative space in there. So I'm more than happy. Yes. <laughs> so what we do now is we decoupage it onto our tag. I think I'm going to stay with the white, actually. Um, I'm using matte medium because that's my, I know that I can work on top of it. That's the whole reason why I tend to use that because I use Mod Podge as more of a sealer when I've finished, if you know what I mean. This isn't, I use the Liquitex one. It's just that this, I decant it because I've got like a gallon drum of it and I decant it into the smaller one. So it's the Liquitex matte medium. Okay. So you just choose what side you want. I'm going with the weight, as I said. Okay. 
like that. And I want as much as I can, so I'm going to put that down there. And scrunch it up a bit as well, a bit more. You want. It's nice and dry, and please don't touch them until they're dry, because you will rip them. <laughs> No going, <laughs> and then getting a big hole in it. <laughs> okay. shouldn't do this so it's dry I just want to get as many as I can out of this one I'm trying to go for the more vintage tones, that's why I've used that. It'd be more beneficial to me for my next journal. Okay, another one. So I think we're going to get about four out of that. Yeah, so that's good. So carry on with that. Right, so the other one's nice and dry now. A bit more vibrant, this one, but that's okay. We shall see what happens. <laughs> I think it's really interesting doing things like this. Oh, let's do the big ones first. Okay. And fun. And that's what it's about, isn't it? Having fun. I haven't tried this with PVA and water, but I'm sure it will be fine. As long as you do, if it's quite, you know, two to one ratio on your PVA, then you can work over the top of it. Well, I have done in the past, but like I say, I haven't used it on this. So you can always experiment with a little tiny piece and see if it works. If it doesn't, then you haven't wasted a whole tag. But then it doesn't work. There's ways around it. <laughs> Get your gesso out, I say. <laughs> Go right over it and start again. Sometimes it leaves some incredible things when you do that. You say, oh my gosh. And you would never have come up like that if you thought about it in the beginning.
All right, and I'll do a few more. Okay, both sets are nice and dry and I've sanded them down. All right, you do it with that and I just sand them down. Not too much, all right, because you don't want to take too much of that off. Just so that it feels smooth to the touch, even though it looks very textured. A lot of people like the feeling of the texture. I don't. I like to see it. But I like for it to also feel quite smooth. All right, so which ones are we going to do? Um, I think I'm going to do the crackle medium, this one, on here. Um, one, I think I'm going to use a stencil, which I'll use my trusty stencil on a couple of them on say one set like there i might not use these together okay and i'm not i'll cut the tops and that after and then the other set i'm going to use that one because this is opaque okay and it dries white it also apparently takes a couple of days to dry but we'll see see what happens um oh i might use that one actually on that because that colour is quite vibrant and that might tone that down. Do it that way. Yes, got ya. Right, so uh, can't really get it all out of there, but never mind. Right, okay, I'm gonna just spread some over like that. It's quite good because this dries transparent, so a little bit missing there. Let me get the other one out, cut one in half, even get it out. <laughs> And that, you're not going to see anything. Okay. Oh, I might as well do a few more of these while I'm here. I'll do one and one big one. And that's a Tim Holtz Crackle Grazing Medium. We'll do the same with the other one, but I'm going to do it through the stencil, I think, and but with the other one.
Right, left them overnight um, to do their thing. Okay, can't really see much, to be honest. Um, well, that hasn't cracked a lot on that one, but it's cracked more where it's a bit thicker. There's odd cracks there, but that's all right because we've got a nice pattern going on anyway. But there's a few cracks in here. Um, the Tim Holtz one looks like it's cracked really nicely in some of it. So, again, we'll just check. It's definitely got... We'll see it anyway when we do the next bit. Okay, I've just sort of grouped them up, really. Right, so I'm going to do one of them first. Now, you can do this with black, but I'm not doing it with black. I want to try it with brown first, just in case. Okay, you need a wet wipe you need to rub on and rub off but um, might be all right with the dry one but we'll see if it rubs off too much then i'll um do it again <laughs> um yeah so i'm gonna use no, it's that anyway we'll see when it's done i'm gonna use one lot with i use that one with gelados okay i have got cherry black Cherry black there, just in case. But I've got um, a metallic coffee colour. And then the other one is... Oh, there we go. Chocolate. Okay. That's the gelados, but I'll do that one next. Um, I've got the set. These, mine are mixed up because I put all the browns and things together. I've got, I've taken the darkest brown, okay, which is ground espresso okay but i've also got black there okay yeah i sort of mix mine up into sort of tones rather so they're all mixed up <laughs> but that's what the one with ground espresso in okay and i'm going to do it with this oh, might be enough there that's there we go okay let's leave that one now so let's do this one first because I can't see anything there, can you? Right. Nor can I. <laughs> okay, there's a bit there. So it's gonna sort of rub it in really. Oh surely it's some here. Right, let's see what happens. to get in the grooves and we'll take it off again in a minute so I'm just gonna spread it around don't seem to be much on this one but there I think okay there yeah it didn't do brilliantly did it oh yeah, coming off now and it's just leaving it in there that's all i wanted i didn't actually want it don't want it to change the color of the tag as such and it shouldn't do because i've put gel medium on so i know i can get rid of everything but hopefully it went in the grooves but not really. Yeah, it hasn't picked up on that at all. Right, okay, let me do it with the dry one. Okay, let's try then.
Oh, it's gone in there better. It's just leaving it. I haven't finished yet, but it's just going in them cracks a little bit better. Okay. You can see that. Right, so I'm going back to the wet wipe now. And we can see if we can take some of it. I don't want it all off because I quite like it. Here we go. Right. Just like to see what happens. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's grungy, of course it is. Yeah, it's worked better. Yeah, that's great. So it's leaving all that behind. That's what I wanted. Lovely. Okay, now let's do that one there. That one is do that. Okay. Yeah, I really didn't want to use black. I was too scared. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, my ta tag might end up black. I know they don't, but I just sort of wanted the more warmer tone of brown. I'm just trying to get a bit more in there if I can. Right, that's really loving that. Look at that going on. That's great. Love it. This one, yeah, I think I'll work on that one a little bit more. See what we could just again, but so I've just got a bit of a thing going on there. But that's all right, we can cover that up. Yeah, because uh, that is fantastic. Love it. So I'm going to just go over there. Let me get some in here. I can. Okay, I like that. And what I'm going to do is just going to add some of this colour. What have I got? 
Um, actually, that one might work. Just to incorporate a little bit of colour. Which I do want that colour. Okay. It's that colour I want. that round a bit and then go over again just so it blends out and then put a bit in there now okay that's better yeah love it Right, let's put a bit of this on here then. Oh, sorry, the or I should have told you what the orange was. Rusty hinge. Okay, now I'm really liking that. That's great. Okay, all right. Done. All right, so let's put these away. Have a little look at the gelados. And we'll see what happens. So I'm going for just a normal brown chocolate colour. The last time I'd done it with um, gilding wax, didn't I? So this this sort of thing. So it's nice to try something else. I think I've got everything. Rub it in first. Ooh. <laughs> I actually really like this tag. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. You know it has to go through a horrible bit. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> but we are working on grunge, so see that doesn't didn't crackle glaze much really at all. But nice and grungy. <laughs> yeah, no, that didn't. Yeah, that was. I think that was too. Actually, too um, thin. The layer. Can't see that coming off now. Can you? <laughs> oh yeah, I can. There we go. Yeah. almost like um like very liquid in there <laughs> i don't know where that's come from i haven't got any very liquid in here <laughs> that's right. i'm too scared <laughs> i'd rather use like orange <laughs> right let's have a look yep that, I, I'm, that's okay now it's not as good as that one because i've got some real glazing going on but like i say i think that was just a little bit too thin i might go over it again in a minute i'll just 
Let's have a look. I like to pick up in these bits, really. So if you've got either or, it's okay. Just got you know you've got a lot of choice with the Tim Holtz ones, haven't you? Mind you, you you do understand that that, that they do dull. They're not colour fast, but I think the gelados are. So if I remember rightly, I just saw. I'm looking at this because I can add more colour into here. I'm actually, you see what I'm doing? I'm I'm sort of following that. I'm actually. Quite liking that dark on there. Because it just adds that bit of contrast. Right. Let's have our orange. Could do with a bit of green there as well. Introduce this colour. Sorry, gelados. I haven't sure what I've got in that. I haven't got many, you say. Yeah, really like that. Um, did I have another one? Oh yeah, this one. Now this one is done with the paste, isn't it? That's not cracked at all. Not that I can see anyway. Let's do it with this one. See, and I think this one needs gilding wax on it, which I'll most probably end up using. <laughs> I'm just going to grunge it up. And... This is a wet, wet baby wipe, so... Got no crackling on there at all. I'm going to leave that and I'm going to put gilding wax on that one. Okay, that one's okay, that's great, but I'm still going to put a little bit of gilding wax on it, I think. Just to brighten, because I think if, when you do grunge, I always think that you need to brighten it up. And I actually sort of I don't mind these like they are, but it's nice to see that background color in there. Okay, let's do this one. Let's be brave. Uh, I'll do this one with gelados. All right, because I think I went all the way over. I've got some good crackle glaze coming on this one. That's the Tim Holtz one. That's picked up brilliantly. 
yeah, and that crackle, see? I've got some lovely ones on there. Okay. This one, mm, don't like. <laughs> Gilding wax it's going to be. These are all good as well. Sorry, I was just looking at that. It's interesting. Love them. There. This one, not keen on yet, but I'm... It might look all right later, if you know what I mean. I might add a bit of colour and do something with it. These green ones have come out brilliantly as well. I'm really pleased. Um, that one, that one, that one, and that one. They're great. This one, I think I need to maybe... It's quite grungy. Too gr Maybe a little bit too grungy for me. But we shall see what happens. Okay. Because we can add colour. I actually don't need any green. It's orange we need. Mm, not right. Not more like orange there. Mm, it's more like luminous. That's a ready brown, isn't it? That one. It's more red. And a bit of red on top. It's pink. <laughs> Pinkish. <laughs> So a lot of times you'll see me rub stuff on and rub it off. Okay, that's that's what I like. I like to see what it leaves behind rather than it totally changing the colour, if you know what I mean. And I love this bit down here. But that's most probably a bit I would cover up. <laughs> wow. This turned out good too. I wonder if it's thicker, the thicker the stuff, the bigger the cracks by the look of it, because that was a, just, that is really good, because that is only a thin layer. Yeah, so I'm liking the thin layer. Definitely. These, don't know what I'm going to do with them. But anyway, think about that in a minute. There's a chat call in by the sounds of it. <laughs> calling for one of mine yeah i've got one cab that hasn't been done but she don't go out the house so yeah <laughs> right okay i think personally they all they most of them need a bit of gesso okay so before i go any further i am going to get my gesso out because i just feel in some places they're a little bit dingy looking so whether this you know it should help i'm just doing it with me little credit card and it's just just sort of like that really so don't forget i'm putting the gilding wax on as well so i'm just gonna let's do that and i shall do that to all of them
Yep. And that one's okay, actually. This one is just horrible. <laughs> well, it's cracking now, though. How weird is that? I can see cracks in that now. Never mind. Be interesting to do something else with that one. See what happens. That's what I love about this process. You never know what you're going to get. Trying to pick up the, some of these lines here. I really like. Okay. Let's get rid of that blob in the middle. Right, so they're all dry, and the ones I've done, and I'm just going to cut these into a tag shape. Okay, I'll like to do them all together if I can. Okay. Right, some I'm going to stamp on. Um, let's have a look. That one is just gilding wax for now. I'm going to maybe have that one. I'm not sure. Hold on. That one's got to have some gilding wax on. That one's ready to go. Put some stamp in there. That one and that one. I think. And it's that one and that one. So that's gilded wax, these. Um, I don't know how to put them. That one and that one looks actually good. I might just take a bit more off that inside tag, though, because this was a skinnier one. And then that and that, maybe. <laughs> or maybe, you know, we will do something with it. I'm just going to cut this one down just a little bit. <laughs> 